So hello, this is going to be my uh, glitch tutorial, so I'm going to open up After Effects CC 2018 and in here I've got laid out the different glitches that I will be teaching you today. So first off there is glitch 1, which is a BCC cross glitch, glitch 2, glitch 3, glitch 4 and glitch 5. Okay, so for glitch 1, this one's a fairly simple process. So what you want is just to pre-comp your clip and add the effect BCC cross glitch. So you want to set the animation to percent done, trigger mode automatic, glitch intensity, you can uh, play around with that but what I like to do is I like to make shift 100, peak position 90 and uh, keep the rest the same and this will create this kind of effect once you keyframe it with the percent done. So I like to go from 0 to 50 and keep that going so like this so that's how that first glitch should look like you can use that for transitions and uh, onto glitch 2 we open this up we just have a basic key light on the top clip so if we get rid of the bottom clip we key lighted the the grass color which obviously kind of removes the grass color and the color similar and underneath that we had a BCC video glitch with Intensity at 100, um, glitch interval, everything the same, duration we set to 100, and uh, I, I changed the block damage a bit, gave it a, a higher intensity, and uh, that's what this came out of. And with the key light on top, you can see that it it kind of complements the clip, but it doesn't overpower it. So if you wanted, you could just have that with the uh, BCC glitch, or you can do the key light, which makes the, the, the clip look glitchy, but it's not specifically glitch. So for the third one, this one's a bit more complex. So if we go back to here, all this really is is a glitchy file. Well, two glitch files which are the same. So you want to disable channel glitch, disable color glitch, keep uh, image glitch on, glitch glitch block, um, get rid of. Uh, but you want to keep glitch slice on and uh, you want to set the amount over time to be higher and just duplicate that and you should get a glitch that looks like that so that's what that glitch is so glitch 4 is where it becomes a bit more complex so you can see here we have we have three layers in this layer comp 2 we have our shape to make the uh, glitch with so if we go into here to actually get the glitch, we have a displacement map, and we link that shape onto the displacement map, displacing the horizontal values and the vertical values just randomly. So that ends up like that. And uh, on this top layer, again, we have a basic key light. So obviously, with, with the color of the grass keyed out, and uh, that makes the clip look like that. So if you wanted to use this as a transition, if we just reset this and get rid of that, and reset this and get rid of that. What we can do is you can just click on it, make a keyframe, go further ahead, and you can get something like that. Or if you want the transition to be faster, obviously just make it one frame, cut it all out, and uh, drag that one frame on, and you'll get a transition like that. So that's that glitch, if you just reset that. And for the final glitch, this is where it gets a bit complicated, so. There's, I've made an overlay and you'll be able to download this project file. So here we just have, again, basic key light to get rid of that. And this. So this is the glitch that I recently created. And basically, it consists of a looped glitch overlay that I created. And for this, we need white solid. And what we did is, we, in here you can see we've got different solids, use S underscore inverts, check and turn off the colours, so that's like that, and then what we did is, we got that, added a displacement map to it, the same displacement as before, as you can see here, and we um, animated the displacement map so it comes across the screen. 
so obviously from minus to positive so it goes with the screen and then to create more we just duplicated it we just duplicated this displacement map and we made it come in the opposite direction and moved it downwards a bit so we got an effect look like that and then I just repeated that four times cutting out the bit without so it was a constant more of a loop glitch and then that in the end created this glitch if we created this oh, it, that in the end created this glitch as you see here so I hope this tutorial helped for anyone that's trying to learn to use glitch on their edits next and uh, if you enjoyed it uh, don't forget to like put the thumbs up subscribe and uh, like the video so thank you for watching uh, I've been Kayo the project file is in the description if you want to download it and learn from it and uh, I'll see you in the next tutorial